Hello and welcome to Calagra Market, our daily show on Nifty, Bank Nifty and USDNR. What we do in the show is we look at charts, we look at open interest data, we look at uh, FIDA data. We keep things simple, we only look at very few things and we try to stick with discipline to the few things we consider. Uh, it's an extremely simple way to get started trading through technical analysis if you're new to the market. We don't do any rocket science here and all we do is just three things, right? Nifty charts, open interest data and FIA data. And we try to form an informed opinion on where the market will go tomorrow and we try to suggest a few trades uh, which might make sense if the scenarios turn out to be uh, the way we think they are right if you have if you're new to this we've been running it almost for a year and a half uh, uh, this is uh, free for all it, it is free and it will always remain free now i have a problem i don't know if we are live yet because i don't see yes i saw the first comment from raj thank you raj for uh, you know reaffirming that we are live so uh, without further ado, let's get started with Calagra market. Mm. I'm not having coffee for effect, having coffee because I'm genuinely zoned out. <laughs> so anyway, let's get started with the first piece of the puzzle, right? We have three parts to the puzzle. First uh, part of the puzzle is of course the chart. The second part of the puzzle is open interest. Third part is uh, FIDA data. And let's get started with the charts first. So yesterday we talked about this that we have a early sign of reversal which is the bearish Harami candle. Now if you looked at the spot data it is a Harami cross. If you look at the future data it is a bearish Harami candle. Trading view doesn't have futures uh, 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 charts I think and if I have to show it in a broker's chart one broker will have to show and every other broker will be sad so I am not going to do that. Uh, but anyway we are here right and we talked about the potential of a reversal in yesterday's analysis. Uh, and uh, so we indeed have a red candle now interestingly if you want if you want only if you want you can consider this a bearish engulfing right because the body of the green with the cross is fully engulfed by the body of the red but ideally it is not because a bullish a bearish uh, engulfing is a very big red candle this is a, this is a tiny candle so at best i would consider this the confirmation candle for the reversal right now I strongly think we are in reversal territory. Yesterday also we had said we had said this as long as Nifty is below 16700 it makes sense to short. So I hope you guys shot it today. Uh, uh, I did yesterday. So I mean we are all in some MTM some decent good small profits but we are waiting for the trade to become bigger. Right. So this is the first part of the puzzle. Uh, the oh trading view has future stars. That's very nice. Biden gave nuclear warning to Russia. Yar, chalega nuclear weapon? Yar, ye to aise market giriyane ke liye kar rahe log. Mere ko lagta hai. <laughs> oh, trading you shows future. So let me see. Nifty. Acha ha yar hai correct. Ah okay. No, this is very clear, right? This is a very clean uh, bearish harami cross because this is a red body. And then if you look at it, right, it's even better because red bearish harami cross confirmed followed by a red uh, confirmation i mean red uh, confirmation candle because the harami's funda is once the cross is formed you need one close below the cross and now it has formed so now we are all very happily sitting on a potential reversal signal right and we i'll i'll say that it can at least visit till this point which is 16200 right because that is where it broke out of this trend line so that is part one of the puzzle now let's go to part two of the puzzle which is open interest data right open interest is very clear today everybody sold calls nobody sold uh, puts everybody got out of their existing puts so net net we have 25 million calls added and 8 million call puts are gone uh, important point to realize is that uh, we have a decline in pcr in the last three days on friday it was 1.3 on uh, sorry on monday it was yeah on friday it was 1.3 on may 30th it was 1.3 on may 31st it was sorry, monday it was 1.3 tuesday it was 1, 1. today it is 0 0.7 0 0.7 is proper bear territory right and you can also see this graph right which is the total cumulative oi so now there are 94 million puts and this is a diverging right the red is going up the green is going down and futures oi is pretty uh, stable so nothing there uh, so net net looking at option chain this does not look like a very nice picture right uh, now let's look at what fis are saying fi data yesterday's data how do you see yesterday's data you can click here 
it was 90 lakh sorry 90000 calls and 2 lakh puts today it is 68000 calls and 2.1 lakh puts which makes this gap even wider there are way more puts than calls and puts to call has now become 3 is to 1 from 2 is to 1 yesterday huge huge negative signal and that is because today they sold 25000 calls and bought 19000 puts so we have 25k calls by uh, 15k uh, call sell 15k puts by 3 is to 1 puts to call 1276 crore sell and the stock data is also extremely tricky at 2000 crore sell. Basically, there is nothing which is telling me to buy this market. Everything is selling, sh 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 saying short the market, right? Because the chart is negative, option chain is negative, FI data is negative, and in our system, we only look at three things, right? We don't look at 100 indicators and 200 moving averages. We have very simple fundas. So the trade is simple. We can sit on any short, short option, right? I'm basically happy to sit on any short option. Now let us look at Bank Nifty. Now Bank Nifty is a tough nut, right? I mean, I, I, I find Bank Nifty a little bit more tricky, but yesterday we had said again, 50 DMA is a good place to short Bank Nifty. And today also it made the high at 50 DMA. Uh, it uh, touched there, went down, but again it recovered in the second half. So that is very tricky. It's very tempting to think that this is a bullish engulfing, but it's not a bullish engulfing really. We can also look at Bank Nifty futures chart because uh, now I think... Yep, we have continuous charts. Bank Nifty Futures is also looking like this. This is not really a bullish candle or anything. And there is a probability that we can see a correction perhaps to 35,000 and then further. Why I think there is a case for correction in Bank Nifty is not because of Bank Nifty. I think it is because fundamentally from Nifty, if Nifty is negative, it can't be that Bank Nifty can be very positive. So my, my bare case for Bank Nifty emerges from Nifty. Uh, also, of course, I mean, monthly yesterday we talked about it. So, let's not, there's nothing new to add here. Finally, dollar rupee, right? Dollar rupee is still strongly, strongly consolidating at its all-time high. I think somebody is accumulating for a decisive up move because otherwise by now it should have corrected. But maintaining its uh, all-time high levels and not going significantly below the all-time high is a strong sign that something might be happening and if that something is happening it is a risk on sentiment which means that the index down dollar up right so net net uh, as of now it is still not a long market perhaps if we see 17,000 16,700 I look too long so the reason why I am saying short call instead of short futures is if you short a future and yaha tak chala gaya, aapka pura loss hoga. but if you sell a 16,700 call or 16,600 call and sit on it one even if that up move comes eventually you will still make some theta for all you know you might get, take the entire premium away also right but if you short a future here and you don't have any margin of error till here uh, this is the specific reason why i'm short calls another way to play this is you can sell december call june call september call etc and sit on it right and your stop loss happens only if it breaks yesterday's high or this middle of the channel right um so this is now uh, today life is asking how about nifty tomorrow tomorrow i think is a uh, negative day uh, sell first thing tomorrow yaar aaj nahi becha apne to uh, what other comments i'm not seeing any other comments let me see yeah Thank you for your comments, Sharath, on uh, how to be a better trader series. Uh, okay, so no more. I don't see any other user questions on our, I mean, audience questions on our uh, chat. So that is our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. As usual, this is not tips or advice or multi-bagger or get rich quickly or, you know, buy your own BMW scheme. Hmm, buy your own BMW scheme is very crazy because it's very expensive. I don't know why people would want to buy that. But anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, so this is analysis, purely analysis. The primary objective of our analysis is not to help people uh, find trades which make, I mean, sorry, you know, it is not one of those, you know, give a man a fish thing. It is one of those teach a man how to fish thing. So eventually we, none of us will need this analysis. So on that note, we will see you again tomorrow. I hope your tomorrow's trading day happens to be profitable. Uh, so as usual, please don't participate in a trade 
बिकॉज यू थिंक की आर आई मिस दिस ट्रेड लेट मी मेक सम मनी ट्रेड ओनली इफ द ट्रेड मेक्स सेंस फ्रॉम अ स्ट्रैटेजिक पर्स्पेक्टिव सो प्लीज डू योर ओन प्लानिंग प्लान योर ट्रेड ट्रेड योर प्लान एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा सो ऑन दैट नोट आई विल सी यू अगेन टू मोरो टिल वी मीट अगेन गुड बाय एंड टेक केयर